Steve, he is a hard man to keep down, and so far, they've been unable to do it. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Take a look at what Harden's been doing. He's got 10 points, and he's contributed three points from the line, too. Yeah, those are always easy points. I mean, when you can get to the line and knock them down, sometimes that's, that's the difference in the game, Clark. Jared Dudley out there with Brandon Knight. Then it's Chris Middleton. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Henson in it, the five. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terrence Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. Milwaukee leading by four. The Rockets, of course, at the forefront or vanguard as far as advanced analytics go. Some in the NBA have scoffed, but hey, they're doing something right. Reza. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, <laughs> yeah, Kevin. I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Coach Jason Kidd taking over a young roster in Milwaukee. He said it's a lot of teaching. It's a process. These are young men that know how to play the game, but the NBA game is different. We want to get guys in big games so they can learn how to handle those situations. We feel we can do better than last year, and we will. Can he deliver, Kevin? Great. Thanks, Doris. And as you guys know, the Rockets at the forefront technology-wise, too. You see coaches with electronic tablets. Well, they installed flat-screen monitors in the locker room, highlighting stats and videos for players. So, you know, they're trying to close the loop and, and create that line of communication between the numbers crunchers and the players themselves. I mean, he no luck. Well, he didn't quit on the play. He defended the shot, contested it, and then got back straight to the glass. For the Rockets. Dorsey comes in for Jones. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Corey Brewer. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they won their last contest. That game again, it's the Boston Celtics. And Kevin, I thought they put together a fantastic offensive game plan in that win. They knew exactly how to exploit the defense, and they really got on a nice roll. And exploit them they did, see, They were relentless. They kept so much pressure on the defenders over the course of that game. Lots of room. Dudley's shot is good. Dudley's got the lead up to six now for Milwaukee. There's the feed to Beverly. A three-pointer, no good. A different look for Milwaukee. O'Brien, he's checked in for John Henson. Mayo comes in for Andre Takumbo. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Brandon Knight. The Rockets also changing it up. Smith checked in for Monte Yunus. And it's Tarion for Trevor Ariza. A moment here to take a look at some of the numbers for Harden. First in scoring, third in steals. And how about his accuracy from the foul line, guys? He is in the top 10 in free throw percentage. And Steve, we really can't gloss over his ranking as the top scorer in the NBA. I mean, he's the one guy you don't want to see coming out of the opposing locker room. Lock at six. Mayo kicks to Middleton. On deep. And again, the Bucks miss. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. And Houston gets called for the foul. There's the steal. Tried to use the pump fake there, but the defense didn't buy it. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. 
an indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but pass. No, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. James Harden, Clark, voted by a majority of NBA GMs last season as the number one shooting guard in the entire league. Really hard to argue that, Kevin. I mean, he's an elite scorer, second in the league in free throw attempts per game last season. And he's also a really, really good passer, able to make his teammates better because he draws so much attention and he's a crafty and willing passer. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And Harden hand in glove with the Rockets offensive philosophy. 80% of his shot attempts come from either beyond the arc or in the paint. That combination of shooting with slashing ability a real key to his effectiveness. Corey Brewers checked in for James Harden. Mayo kicks to Bayless. Back to Mayo. And it's Mayo again missing. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. And James Harden among the league leaders in scoring and scoring efficiency for two seasons running. Even bad shots for most players are average ones for him with his great skill level. And the other thing that makes him such a potent scorer, he gets to that foul line to the tune of about 10 times a game. And here's Mayo from beyond the arc. And that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. Bayless has got three assists now in this one. Dorsey, that's good. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Mayo kicks to Bayless. Inside. And O'Brien gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by four. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grind it out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside <laughs> and take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitation. Lays it in off the pretty alley oop. Dudley's got the lead up to six now for the Bucks. What an impossible shot to block in the close. The defender, you know, giving up so much size, there's no way he's going to get a hand on it. That was some very sluggish defense. Where's the effort? And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Milwaukee on top, up by four. And we'll get it going after this from the Bradley Center. Bucks leading by four. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. Beverly and Harden man the back. Here. Joey Dorsey is out there with Bonnie Yunus. And it's a reason in a, a small forward position. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assist and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Now, here is Knight, defended by Beverly. Knight kicks to Hanson. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Brandon Knight certainly can pass the orange. It's Harden with the drive. Pick off in midair. And he lobs it up towards the rim. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Ooh, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Here is Bayless, guarded by Hart. Shot clock at six. Tries from ten. Bank shot, no good. Hands in the best. Here's Honda to Kumbo. Got a piece of it. Montiunas with the steal. Here's Ariza. Rebound, Milwaukee. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. Here's Ande Takumbo. 
And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. That's foul number two for him. Chris Middleton's checked in for O'Brien. Knight kicks to Henson. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Rockets trail by eight. Here's Dorsey. And he jams it with authority. How about that? Snuck in off the baseline and then the sensational reverse jam. How pretty was that? You're right. Athletic basketball. Uh, Clark with a little bit of flair mixed in. I like that flavor. Mm, flavor. <laughs> Me too. Flavor and flair. I like that. And here comes the break. And the jam by Harden. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Monte Yunus with the steal. Beverly dishes to Harden. Houston moving the ball around. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. Boy, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and uh, it's just been that kind of a day. O.J. Mayo is checked in for Jared Bayless. And a change for the Rockets. Jason Terry, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. And the Bucks leap by five. Way to work it up quick. That's a nice break. Hard to pass to Terry. Mayo brings the double team. Back to Terry. From deep three-point range. I don't like throwing up long-range threes at this point. You've got to get better looks to try to close this gap. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Mayo drives in. Uses the glass to finish the layup. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Rockets drilled by seven. A shot by Harden. Wide open. Another miss by Houston. That's tipped. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Kicks it to Terry. Here's Monte Yunus. Misses from short range. Milwaukee leading by 7. Right on the wing. Mayo again. It's Harden. Six to shoot. Monte Yunus with the steal. Time is definitely not on their side at this point. Yeah, they need a quick bucket. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steal, Clark. A perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. Yeah, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. Timeout called the Bucks. They're up by five. There's a minute left here in the fourth quarter. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jason Kidd was saying to his team. He said, listen, we've come this long. Now we've got to lay it on the line to get a win. I know we can do it. So show them what you got, and let's make it happen. Guys, we'll see if they can do it. And as always, Doris, thank you. Shooting for Milwaukee. Right on the first, and that increases their lead to six. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Knight. He's got 13 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. I'm sure they'd like to get him a few more, though, so look for them to run some screens for him, try to pop him open. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. A wide open look here for Terry. Monte Yunus. Ariza has the open look. Defense and they have the their... chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. 14 